Hello, konnichiwa, and thank you for coming back to my other video. My name is Kei, and I'm a pro Forex trader as well as a Forex mentor based in Tokyo, Japan. The theme on this video part 4 is how to visually spot the trading edge on the market. This is a technique to see the chart by phases, such as a trend phase or range phase, so that you know exactly when to take trades by the moving average indicator. And it's gonna look like this. By the end of the video, you'll be able to see charts like this in different phases and be able to identify when to take trades by looking at one single chart, one single time frame. I will teach you how you can identify them visually. So if you like this video already, please press a good button and make sure to subscribe and hit the bell so that you get notifications as I upload more and more Forex educational videos. Alright? so. Let's get started right now. So this is another technique, another technique to wait and prepare yourself to get ready for the entry chance on the market by using the moving average. Now look at this chart. On this chart, you see the red and blue colors, right? These colors actually show when the market is on a trend and when it's not. First, look at the moving averages. The blue line is a long-term MA and the red one is a short-term MA. And this is something that I said on the previous video part 2, but when the multiple moving averages point towards the same direction, that's called perfect order and that's exactly when the market keeps its momentum towards that way. So for example, when the two or more multiple moving averages point to the upside, that means the market is bullish, and when they are all pointing down, that means the market is bearish. So look at this chart. If you take a look at it closely, this red area here is when both the short term and long term MAs are both pointing downwards, and that's why this period here is colored in red. And Look at a note down here. As it says here, the profit can be most extended when long-term and short-term MAs are pointing towards the same direction. And the combination of the MAs can be with any moving averages. It can be like the combination of mid-term and long-term, or short-term and mid-term, and so on. But the combination of short-term and long-term gives more clear signals as to when the market is really on a trend. So. If you are relatively new to trades, I recommend you to place short term MA and long term MA, like 20 period and 200 period. And as for the definition of each terms, like short term, mid term, and long terms, I explained it about it on a part 2, so you can check it, check it out later. I will put the link on the upper right corner now. So again, when you see two moving averages point towards the same direction, that's when the profit can be extended the most. In fact, as you look at it here, the blue long-term MA is going down and also the red short-term MA is also going down, right? What this long-term MA tells you is that it tells you how the market is moving in bigger term. Like if this is in, in a daily chart and when this blue long-term MA is 200 MA let's say, that means it shows the momentum of almost a yearly chart because 200 MA, 200 period trading days is almost like one year, right? So the idea is to follow the trend in a bigger term, the direction of a long term MA and take positions towards that direction accordingly. Now if you look at this red zone here and if you take a look at it closer here at this place, the overall trend is going down, but there's a small pushback, right? But just because it's going up short term, you cannot just place buy because you shouldn't go against the direction of a long term moving average, which is going down in this case. For example, when this is a daily chart and you find the market is going up like at this place, when you look at it closely like in 1 hour time frame or 15 minute time frame, it might look to be a strong bullish market, right? It might look to keep moving up in lower time frame. So you think, oh, it's a bull trend, so let's just place a buy. But if you keep trading like that, you cannot have a stable result. 
or if you're a scalper, it's okay. However, in either case, the upper level momentum actually dominates the market. So when you look at the major trend and when you find it's bearish, then that means the market tends to move towards the downside than going upside, you know, especially when it's being resisted at these places, like here or here or at this place. So if you're taking a buy at some place here, you cannot keep holding it for a long time because sooner or later the market should move to the downside. So remember, when the short term moving average and long term moving average both point towards the same direction, this is when your profit can extend the most because that's what moving average tells you and that's what it's good at. Uh, remember, moving average is to identify the trend direction and trend strength and the break even point of the market. So make sure to follow the direction of the moving average, especially in the long term direction, right? So look at this blue zone here next. It's basically the same, right? The short period MA, this uh, red one here is pointing up and also the long period MA is also pointing upwards. And that's why this is a bull market. And that means buyers are dominating the market than the sellers. So in this momentum, basically, you look for the timing to place a buy at the pushbacks. And when you look at the next red zone, both the short period and the long period MAs are pointing down. So you only look for a sell chance in this market, right? So again, the point is when the MAs with the different settings, different period are pointing towards the same direction like this or like this, that's when the profit can be extending the most, like in this red zone and this blue zone here, you see? They are pointing towards the same direction, right? And that's when the profit can keep extending the most. And when you find this on a bigger time frame, then what you can do next is you go to a smaller time frame chart and when the moving average on that lower time frame chart points towards the same direction as the bigger time frames, that's when you can be more positive to take trades towards that direction. So for example, when you see a bullishness here in daily chart, then go to a lower time frame, like one hour chart, and wait for the market to be exactly looking like this too, because that's when you can confirm the market is really bullish like this. I will talk about the further details on later part, but for now, just remember to find a market in which the moving averages in different periods points towards the same direction. In fact, let me do this. Let me slide the chart to the left here. Now, like on this chart, the red ones are the clearly showing when the market is bearish and in contrast, the blue area here shows when the market is bullish as you can see visually here, right? And when the moving averages point different directions, that's where no colors are marked on this chart where you, you can see it's white like here. That's where moving averages are pointing different directions. So your trade timings should be when the market is on these colored areas because this is where your trades can be less stressful and this is where you can extend the profit as much as possible. So if you're a trend follower, these colored areas are where exactly you want to get to work. Now let's think about when you cannot extend the profit on the market and where it can be stressful to take trades. This is also very important to know, so make sure to understand this one too. Well, like I said, it's the white areas on this chart, but let me show you the chart differently now. So this is exactly the same chart you were looking at previously, and this time I colored gray just to make it easier to see it visually here, where you cannot extend the profit. So gray areas are where you cannot extend the profit. And how you can identify these areas, gray areas are, look at the below definition here. As it says here, when the MAs are getting closer to each other, the market direction becomes not clear, meaning it loses its trend, gets volatile up and down, and it's not a profitable market. So in that case, you wait for the next cross, like gold cross or dead cross. However, keep in mind that gold cross and dead cross is not to catch the trend start. It just shows you the trend direction, but it cannot be the trade signals because usually it's too late. 
So, like you see these blue triangles on the chart, like here, when the market starts to move like this, when the market is in these gray areas, basically it's going to be difficult to trade and this is where newbies usually get trapped, unlike these white zones here. So more precisely, these gray areas are when the long term MA and short term MA are not synchronizing, not pointing towards the same direction, see? And the, they are getting close to each other. So you can call this is like a triangle range by MAs, like the second gray area too. The red term, short term is going down while the green long term is slightly going up and getting close to each other, right? And it automatically creates a triangle like this. So when the market is like this, you better not to trade because the market tends to be volatile with no solid direction. So when you see both the MAs start to point in towards the same direction like this, that's when you want to think about trading towards that direction. And you confirm the trading edge by looking at the lower time frame. Alright, from the next video, I'll be further talking about how you can actually take trades to maximize a profit in three different situations in the next three videos. And I will introduce the tips and steps of how I analyze charts by moving averages. I have a step-by-step -step strategy that you can also refer to so that you know exactly what to do on those three different situations to be able to take trades and extend the profit as much as possible. So if you don't want to miss the next series of videos, go ahead and subscribe and make sure to hit the bell so that you get notified when I upload the next ones. And if you liked today's video, kindly press a good button so that it makes me going. Alright, I wish you continue to watch and learn from my videos and eventually become a profitable trader. I will see you on the next one. Stay gold. Mata ne.